Hey everybody, it's the boss lady here coming to you from my vehicle. Uh, it's Sunday, the Sunday after Thanksgiving, and uh, boss lady still tired, y'all. <laughs> um, yesterday was little man's birthday, he turned five. So, thank you to all of those on Instagram who wished him a happy birthday. Um, he had a great birthday, from my understanding. Um, we went to the movies. Uh, him, his mom, uh, Miss Pena, and I went to go see Moana. Is that how you said? Moana, Moana? One or two. Anyway, that's what we went to go see. And so we all enjoyed the movie. Um, now we're getting ready to head to his house. I gotta do my nails, and I broke my nails working on that tree. But I can say, y'all, Big Bertha is up. Whew, I'll insert a clip. Or not a clip, but a picture or two of just some highlights. Not nothing spectacular. You'll have to wait till the actual home tour. But I'm happy to say that uh, everything is up. Well, not everything. I haven't done the kitchen yet. Haven't done the tablescape. But that's all in due time. You know, we, we'll get to it. But um, the big tree, the one that I've been worried about all year... <laughs> It's finally up, and I'm so excited. Uh, Miss Pena and I, we did something a little different. You know, I had to keep asking her, do you like this? Do you like that? What do you think about this? Should I add this? Should I add that? So, and for all you guys who don't know, I do allow my daughter to give input on the decorations of the house, and I just think that is just right. Um, I am not the type of parent who just kind of overtakes, and it's all about me, me, me. So, um, of course, I do get some of me in there, but it still has to be presentable and lovable by my baby as well. So, um, I did that. And I want a little bit of whimsical, you know, features too. Um, I haven't pulled out everything yet. Um, I've been kind of um, pulling out one bucket at a time. I have five buckets in the basement, not including what's upstairs in the storage closet. So... Ooh, it's a lot and I'm finally finding my niche I think when it comes to you know what I want what I don't want I'm not I won't say I'm one of the glam girls I'm not from the glam team so I'm not all about the sparkle sparkle I do love glitter though I mean I don't know if you can tell in this video I'm sparkling all over the place <laughs> bossman says all over your face like, okay I guess I'm just gonna be shining until New Year's but anyway <laughs> So, we, um, you know, I, I do like that, but I'm not all about the, you know, the glitz and glam piece of it. Um, that's just not my, my thing. You know, I'm not rustic either. Um, you know, I do like the traditional colors, the red, green, and white. But you guys do know that our colors for our, um, our tree, our main tree is purple and gold. So what I did was I tried to color coordinate rooms this time. Um, pretty much outside of the kitchen, I'll take that back. The kitchen, even though my kitchen is orange, I did not do like an orange tree and everything about orange or whatever in the kitchen, no. Um, only thing that stays pretty much orange in the kitchen is the walls and the pots. You know, I do transform the kitchen. I have not done that yet. Uh, just because I've been I've been busy. And I've been trying to work on getting Big Bertha up. So, uh, I will tell you guys this. I'm so excited. It took me less than an hour to put that tree together last night. I was so amazed. I was so excited. I think it took me 30 minutes from the base to the treetop. And I was like, wow. Then I couldn't find my lights. <laughs> took me 30 minutes to find my lights. I was so frustrated. Finally found the lights. Then I couldn't find my ribbon. And then I didn't realize I had bought new ribbon, but I'm glad I did because um, the ribbon that I actually picked up yesterday that I did not haul for you guys, um, that ribbon, there wasn't a lot on the roll and I didn't realize that, but I had bought a roll of ribbon last year and there was a whole lot on that road so much so that um that i was able to uh use it for what i needed plus some so i was happy about that 
um, did my treetop a little different, so I'll show you a picture a clip of that. Um, happy about that too. Miss Peanut liked the, the top of the tree, so that was a win-win. Um, and yeah, so I'm excited. You know, I'm happy that um, I was able to please herself and myself. Uh, I kept second-guessing myself throughout the night, like, do I like this? Do I like that? It took... That's what I forgot to tell you, Miss Peanut. It took seven strings of lights to light up that tree. Because remember last year when I lit up the tree, I only had four strings of lights. And so I had to go out and buy a string. Because not only did I notice it in my video, but Boss Man noticed it and made a comment. Didn't like that too well. So, um, so I did buy a fifth string of lights uh, to go on the bottom of the tree. Then when I went out after Christmas shopping, um, I bought more lights, so I bought roughly, hmm, I think six boxes of color lights, and I think four boxes of white lights. So far, we're not using the white lights yet, um, uh, which is fine. I'm okay with that. Um, the four-foot tree took two strings of lights, and then I added, um, two new strings of lights to the, uh, big tree, so... Yeah, that big tree, it takes a lot of light. So it won't be burning like I normally burn my trees because that's a lot of lights. I'm normally used to burning like four strings of lights at a time. No, seven strings of lights on that particular tree alone. But that's okay. You know, God is good and God's blessing, so we're going to be all right. So now we're on our way to um, Little Man and Baby Girl's house because he is having his birthday party today. He's ha actually having his first party, um, a home party. So she's excited about that. She's been working hard and trying to get things together. So we're going to go and do that. I picked him up. Um, I'm actually only giving him one gift because since his birthday is so close to Christmas, um, you know, I prefer to give him massive gifts at Christmas. That's just how I do it. But um, he got a big box. It's a, I don't know if you can see that. Let me see. I'm going to stop for a second. But that martial arts thing that's sitting behind my seat, it's a big old box. Got it at Walmart, too, for a super deal after Christmas sale shopping, y'all. That's the best time to start buying some more gifts. And since, you know, we only have one boy in the house, you know, when I pick up stuff for him, you know, it's not like I'm giving it to anybody else. So it's a great thing. So I may give you a little bit of clips of the party uh it all depends on what's what and whatever so we'll see but at least the happy birthday part of singing to him um that person looked familiar anyway um so yeah so we're getting ready to head to the party we'll be there actually in a few minutes and um as you can tell i've been talking as long as i've been driving so when you see this video you'll see wow she's very close to her mom yes yeah, about eight minutes away depending on traffic um that's how close her house is to me so um but yeah so we're excited this will be our first party here at the new house and then we'll, we're also hosting or she's hosting christmas here as well so and i see she's outside she's doing something <laughs> Oh, outside hanging something. But anyway, y'all, so let me uh, get inside and get set up and ooh, try to fix this hair. And then I'll give you some clips of the party. Come on. Yay! Yay! 